Hey guys, so all of you probably know that it's 2016 now. We have been in the year 2016 for about two months and a week. But some of you may not know that it is a revolutionary time for my generation. Trends are catching, videos are viraling, and our vocabulary is shrinking. Or is it? Even though we may not know what ebullient or libidinous or concomitant may mean, doesn't mean we aren't learning new words. Heck, we're making up our own words. So today I bring you seven terms from the brilliant minds of Generation Z. Our first term is fleek, also known as on fleek. Instead of trusting my own definition of the word or my own knowledge of the word, I decided to pull out Urban Dictionary so I can get exactly what this word means. On fleek. I don't feel comfortable saying this out loud. See, on fleek. A work used... Wow, there's already a typo. A word used by uncultured idiots. <laughs> Thanks, Urban Dictionary. I feel so loved. Uh, let's see. Here's a better definition. Number two. On fleek, the quality of being perfect or on point. Really only hear this term used when talking about eyebrows? So we're going to use it in a sentence. My gosh, Kelly, your eyebrows are on fleek today. So our generation has come up with a specific word to describe how amazing someone's eyebrows are. <laughs> Look at us being innovative. So this second term should not be unknown to very many people. It is the term bay. Um, the very first definition on Urban Dictionary is a says that bay is a Danish word for poop and also used by people on the internet who thinks it means baby, sweetie, etc. Um, Americans stealing a Danish word to make it mean something totally opposite. But the actual definition of bay from what I've learned and from what Urban Dictionary thinks is the third definition is bay means before anyone else. Um, it is spelled B-A-E, but if it means before anyone else, it should be an acronym. But you know, Americans nowadays, just take out those periods, we don't need those. Anyway, if you were going to use it in a sentence, it would sound like this. Hey Claire, look, is that your bae? The term really isn't specific, it could mean your crush, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, a person you think is really cute, a crush on an actor, food even. There is unlimited uses for the term bay. So basically, bay is bay. Is that word starting to sound weird to anyone? Alright, so the third definition or the third term I'm going to give to you today is ship. And no, I'm not talking about a pirate ship or a sail ship. A sail ship? Sailboat. I'm not talking about anything that goes in the water. Top definition on Urban Dictionary, ship, a noun short for romantic relationship popularized in fanfic circles, or as a verb to endorse a romantic relationship. Now I really do agree with this top definition on Urban Dictionary. Finally, it took us like three words. Ship is basically a shorter way to say, to say. Ship is a shorter, that's a tongue twister. Ship is a shorter way to say relationship. Woohoo, I finally got it. Anyway, I would use it in a sentence like this. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about Derek and Kelly? OMG, I ship them too. All right, Urban Dictionary, let's see what you have to say about jelly. Being jealous or hating. Well, that was very straightforward. Sentence time. No way, you guys got a hot tub? Ugh, I am so jelly. I don't talk that way, actually. But no, jelly is a short term for jealous, jealous, jelly. It really isn't that much shorter. Anyway, it's a term. Our fifth term for today is Netflix and chill. Do I really have to explain this one? So when people say they're going to Netflix and chill, they don't actually mean watching Netflix and chilling. My innocent little mind honestly thought that people would sit down and watch Netflix and just chill. Apparently not. Okay, so we're going to switch gears a little bit and go on to our sixth term, solid. Whoa, that's the wrong word. Go back, go back. Yes, this is a scientific term describing molecules, but not today. Nowadays, solid now means 
Something you might say in confirmation or congratulations to someone who either did something tight or when you are on the same wavelength. Okay, they literally threw in another slang term into the definition. No one says tight anymore, unless my pants are tight, which they are not. Thank goodness. I've found myself using this term a lot, and it kind of bugs me. I just really hope it doesn't bug other people. So we are going to use it in a sentence like, you just got that award? Solid. So it is a form of congratulations. Please do not say this to anyone who just got married. Use the full word, congratulations. It's more respectful. All right, our seventh and final term for the day is slay. And can I just praise Urban Dictionary on this first definition? They did a play on words using the actual definition of slay to show the now modern definition of slay. Here it says slay, killed it, succeeded in something amazing. Again, I just love the play on words. Like slay usually means killed it and they use killed it as in like you didn't actually kill something but you like did something really cool. Am I making any sense? So I would use it like... Actually, I wouldn't really use it in a sentence. You just kind of say the word on its own. It's more like an exclamation than anything. So I have to ask this question. Did I slay this video? Okay, I'm sorry. That was a, re that was a really, really bad pun. You can try to erase that from your brain. I'm sorry. I thought it was really good and then it came out of my mouth and I'm just like... Why? So thank you for watching my video. I hope this has brought some enlightenment to your day so you can better understand some of these crazy terms that my generation is now using. For those of you who are a little bit younger, you can now learn. And for some of those who are a bit older, like my parents and my grandparents and my teachers, you can now finally understand what your children are saying. So I know I haven't been posting videos very often. Um, I think it's been about three weeks since my last video, and I apologize. I wanted to post one last weekend, but that just didn't happen. So hang in there with me. If you guys have any ideas, please leave them in the comment section down below. I could really use some inspiration and some creativity from your wonderful minds. So until next then, oh, pfft. so until next time, bye. Oh, I just told you.